The Frank Buckles Memorial Act is named in honor of America's last World War I veteran. At his request, the World War I Memorial Foundation was formed to honor not himself, but the five million veterans that served during the Great War. Frank asked if we could come up with a way to have a memorial to all of the other Americans that served, the nearly five million of them that served during World War I, so that every school child that comes to the National Mall for their one big trip of their class, every person who visits from another nation or anywhere in the United States that goes to this nucleus of education, which is the National Mall, will learn a complete and comprehensive story of the sacrifice and valor of the veterans of the 20th century. From the men who spent months in rotting trenches to the unknown soldiers who died in Flanders fields, the pilots, the sailors, the Marines, the nurses and doctors, our grandparents, fathers, mothers, and loved ones. At the end of the day, having a memorial is the only lasting reminder that is tangible, that is physical, that people can go to and reflect on and pay their honor and respect to that generation that served. To make sure we preserve the integrity of the mall, we capped the size of the memorial to no bigger than an acre and a half. We also placed the memorial in the Constitution Gardens area. This is a perfect place for the World War I Memorial. It would sit between the Vietnam Memorial, the World War II Memorial. The Korean and DC Memorials are across the reflecting pool. The history behind this spot is fitting. During World War I, the United States Navy and the Munitions Department used this very site as their administration buildings. This bill would build a World War I Memorial on the very grounds from where our nation organized that war effort. Frank's dream was to have a memorial on the National Mall that honored every American soldier from World War I. The National Park Service has declared the mall as a place to honor our nation's veterans, to make their voices heard, and to celebrate our nation's commitment to freedom and equality. With the concept of placing a national World War I memorial to the veterans that served in Constitution Gardens in that area, it centralizes everything right there. So. The children that visit the mall or the tour groups that visit the mall could chronologically walk around the mall and learn of all of the wars of the 20th century, all the sacrifice of the 20th century. We can learn from all of the other powerful memorials on the mall and what Frank always asked for was to have a simple memorial uh, that is elegant and it doesn't need to be big, it just needs to be there so that people can re pause and reflect and learn. So as the world watches and our allies prepare for their centennial of World War I, here in America, we are anxious to show the world how we honor the legacy of our veterans. <laughs>